everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are back with another Sims 5 video today. Pranked you a little bit on that one. I usually say Sims 4, but today actually it is a Sims 5 video because guess what? A couple days ago, The Sims 5 was officially confirmed by EA's director of studios, which is honestly crazy because this actually means that The Sims 5 is coming. A couple months ago, I posted a video and I said that The Sims 5 was confirmed, which I did kind of lie to you. I I will admit that my, my I did kind of a clickbaity title, which I feel slightly bad about at this moment because that video kind of blew up on my channel. And by blew up, I mean I have almost 300 views on that video now compared to like my average of like 20. <laughs> it blew up, okay? I s basically, I said that The Sims 5 was confirmed and it was yet to be confirmed. Basically, it was rumored and... We had basic confirmation of it, but it it was yet to be confirmed by a director of EA. So today we finally have a confirmation. And according to this interview, which is on Sims Community, and it'll be linked down below if you want to check the entire interview out. I'll just kind of, you know, just so show you a synopsis of this interview. But basically it was with Laura Miel is I think how you pronounce it. Basically, she was saying that The Sims 5 is confirmed and not only is it confirmed, she was implying, she did not say, she was implying that The Sims 5 will be a multiplayer game, online and multiplayer. So I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. But basically, that is not what I will be talking about today because I'm not sure my personal opinion on this matter, but I'm just throwing that out to the commenters below. Please comment to me how you feel about that. Please, please tell me about that because I want to talk about that with you down below and I want to hear your comments. Before we talk about The Sims 5, I have a little announcement to make. So, everyone, we are at 72 subscribers, which means we are officially three subscribers away from my goal. This means that if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, that would mean so, so much to me if you could hit that subscribe button down below. Honestly, I it would mean so much to me if you could do that. It just, I don't know, I just, I really wanna hit that goal before we hit our one year anniversary, which is coming up so soon. So everyone, if you are not subscribed and you like my content, please, hit that subscribe button. Okay, everyone, Sims 5. Basically, that video I was talking about that blew up, we were talking about create a Sims specifically, but in this video, I am more gonna talk about general Sims 5 content. I, I'm not sure about how I feel about the Sims 5, and I wrote down some things here on this piece of paper, and these are things that people want to see, and I and I understand, and this may be controversial, some of these things, and I, I know that, and I want to hear your comments down below. I want to, if you disagree with me, I'm fine with that. I will not be sad. I may be sad for a second if it's mean, but I, I won't yell at you, okay? I, I respond to every single comment, but I just, I want to have a conversation here about The Sims 5. Starting with open worlds. <laughs> These are things that I may or may not want to see in The Sims 5 and open worlds is a huge one that people want to see. I understand this. But this is actually something I don't want to see. I'm getting the controversial one out of the way, okay? Because this is the only one I don't want to see in The Sims 5. <laughs> All the other ones are ones I do want to see. This one I, I, I don't. And I, and I have a reason. I explained this one in a huge box here, okay? So, I did not play The Sims 3, which did have open worlds. And I understand that The Sims 3, people like the open worlds in The Sims 3. But 
the major issue with open worlds is that you would go into a bar or something and no one would be there. And you couldn't make friends, you couldn't go flirt with someone, whatever, whatever you wanted to do in said bar. You know, you don't want to just go get a drink from a bartender. That's not what you do when you go to a bar. But in The Sims 4, the loading screen is incredibly annoying. But, I mean, I know, believe me, I know it's annoying. But you then load into a place that has a bunch of people in there. And for me, I would prefer having the people in there for gameplay and stuff like that. I mean, uh, to be honest, I don't play the game, but... <laughs> If I'm being honest, I really don't play the game. But I just, I would prefer to play in a game that feels full and feels like I'm playing with other people even when I'm not, you know? Now maybe if it's multiplayer, it doesn't matter, but I, that is my hesitation about open worlds because Sims 3, I know that that was something that happened. And open neighborhoods is, is something that has been suggested. Which means, basically, when you load into the game, in the game, they're... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, my sim is naked. This is unintentional. I did not mean to do this. There was rain before and she apparently <laughs> started showering in the rain. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry, that was unintentional. Okay. Okay. So basically, what I was trying to say is, in The Sims 4, there is, like, there are these neighborhoods, and then you can also go to Manage Worlds, which will bring you to, like, these, like, the entire world. And people are trying to say that the entire world should be open. What I think, or what some people think, is that this neighborhood should be open, and the entire world should maybe not. I possibly agree with this more than the entire world that basically means if you load into this place like this then you don't have this loading screen which makes more sense to me because you're in this little area like if you're going to your neighbor's house you wouldn't have to load i mean you're walking from here to here you shouldn't have to go through a loading screen I feel like that makes more sense, but with game performance issues, I'm not sure how easy that actually is. Okay, everyone, we are now into things I want to see. We're I know we're just talking, but the, now now I just I want to see these. I I <laughs> there's so many things I want to see. Okay, so I I stopped having things I don't want to see because there really aren't that many things I don't want to see. In open worlds, I still kind of want to see. So you know I. I'm just a sucker for things I want to see in The Sims, you know? Cars. They are just so realistic. Speaking of open world, I mean, cars, come on. Why don't we have them in The Sims? I mean, honestly, for me, I, I feel like I don't care about cars as much as 90% of Sims players, but I still care so much that it shows how much people care about this, you know? Like... I just learned how to drive a car, you know, and that is such a normal thing to do as a teenager, and teenagers in this game have nothing to do, and driving to work is just such a normal thing to do, and driving to the mall, and driving to the store, and I mean malls and stores we don't have, but I'm not gonna talk about that. You know, it's just like, we just, we need normality. It's supposed to be a simulation game and we don't have the most basic thing in a simulation game. First it was toddlers, second is cars. Two most basic things in a simulation game. First people, I mean people, you messed up. Then you messed up cars. Come on son. Like what? What? You know, like, how does that happen? I don't know. I I could rant about cars forever. I mean, 
like, I'm being honest when I say I don't care about cars as much as most people. I did make a video <laughs> saying that there were cars in The Sims 4. If you want to watch that, I built a car house. It was, it's a pretty good video. If you want to watch a video, that was really fun to make. If you want to watch that video, it'll be linked up above in the, in the card above. Uh, but I'm moving on fast because people have ranted about that forever. And you can watch people rant about that for literally years. And I don't know if we're going to get that in The Sims 4 ever, but Sims 5, it has to be there. That's all I can say. Just, it has to be there. We need to get it. What can I say? <laughs> we have to get it. Okay, this is more of a thing that people don't talk about that often, but I think we really need to get multitasking, okay? Multitasking. Okay, for this one, I think I should do a little show and tell. So basically, I know we have multitasking in The Sims 4, and it's gotten better since The Sims 3. Sims 3, we also had it. But, well, Sims 3, we didn't really have it. Okay. I'm pretty sure we like kind of have it. I didn't play The Sims 3. I was young. Okay. I was young. But basically you could like cook and talk at the same time or like eat and talk, but it, it just doesn't really work that well. You know, like once I start talking to her, maybe we shouldn't argue. Like maybe we should be nice, you know, like Please just don't start a fire. Like, that would be nice. Stop watching TV. You see, like, it just, it doesn't work. You can't, like, do some things at once, you know? Some things that you should be able to do, you can't do at once. But some things you can. And, like, when she sits down to eat this, it is literally going to take her five years to eat this food because she's talking to him. And sometimes it works more than others, but I think it just needs to be fine-tuned a little bit more. And, you know, just, it needs to be a little bit better. It's improving from game to the game, and I think it just needs to get a little bit better. And, and that, it, it'll, it'll fix itself. I think they're working on it. They just had an update where they fixed the showers, you know, the time it takes to, for showers. Like, time management, it just needs to be fixed. They're, they're fixing the time, but, like, literally, it took her, like, two hours to eat that food. I'm, I'm not sure how many hours, but I wasn't paying attention. But it was multiple hours that it took her to eat that food. That's a little ridiculous, you know? So they basically just need to fix the amount of time spent to do everyday activities because you just have so many needs in the game that... Sometimes you don't want to spend five years eating food every single time, you know? Okay, this is honestly possibly the biggest thing I want to see in The Sims 5. I'm not, I am not even joking about this one. This is huge to me. Traits, everyone. I'm gonna yell about traits. I've yelled about this in multiple videos. Traits, I just, traits, aspirations, all of them. We need more. We need at least five sections to put traits. Three is not nearly enough. We had five in The Sims 3. Why did we go down to three? Why is vegetarian considered a trait? It's just, it doesn't make sense. I just, vegetarian should not be a trait. Also, I'm sorry, these people, these people are really exciting. They're both erratic. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really random, but they're just both erratic. I randomized that and I really want to play with them. I just, I really want to play with them. Erratic Sims are kind of the best. But that, that's, that's beside the point. Traits could be improved with preferences. We had favorites and turnoffs and turn-ons in The Sims 3 and Sims 2. That, that could be improved. There are so many ways to improve it. Mods have improved these. There was literally just a mod that came out that fixed aspirations. They added... 25 new aspirations. Why are modders doing that, but The Sims 4 can't? I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. I It just doesn't. 
Hall of Famer, indie developer, undercover agent, Black Widow, you know? Like, this keeps going. It, the list goes on and on and on. Honestly, I kind of want to, I kind of want to play with this now. But, you know, like, this, this makes me want to play The Sims. The aspirations we have right now in the game don't. So, I need my Sims to have personality, I guess is the best way to say this. I know that I know that they are fake people, but <laughs> I want my Sims to have personality. Traits are a major thing to me, and it really bugs me that The Sims 4 has really failed on traits, and that is a major reason why I no longer play the game, you know? It's just boring to me. My Sims are the same. Every single Sim is family-oriented and a perfectionist and creative. You know, every single sim is the exact same. It, it just, it's so boring. It just, it really gets quite boring. And then you no longer want to play the game. So we need, we need to have things that make it interesting. Now what, what do they want to do to make it interesting? It's up to them, but they need to figure out what it is. If it's preferences, if it's favorites, if it's turn-ons and turn-offs, like, it's up to them. Those worked in the past that made it more interesting. Why did they take it out in The Sims 4? I don't know. I don't know. That's a T, sis. I don't know. We don't talk about her. We don't talk about her, but... Um, I need to move on before I basically scream into a microphone. And to move on, I want The Sims 5 to be more difficult than The Sims 4, but also to have the ability to cheat, because we all know I'm a cheater at heart, and I like to cheat. This might be ironic, because I cheat in building 90% of the time, but I don't cheat in gameplay ever, basically, sometimes. I... I do sometimes, but money, I cheat money all the time, but I really don't cheat in gameplay. Like, I like the difficulty, I like my Sims having to, you know, step by step, doing their chores, you know, going to work, the grind, you know, that is what makes a Sims game fun. I want my Sims to suffer. You know, you might not like that, but I really, I really want my Sims to suffer, okay? Okay, I want my Sims to suffer. It's true. It's true. In The, in the Sims 4, it is way too easy to make money. You can just go outside and collect a bunch of rocks and frogs and breed the frogs a couple hundred times and you are a millionaire. That is kind of ridiculous. You can just paint <laughs> a couple of times and you are a millionaire. I want to suffer. Remember the suffering. I want, um, no, I don't want to suffer. I want my Sims to suffer. That's what I mean. I want my Sims to suffer. I want to have more chores like vacuuming that they added in should A, not be in a kit because, hun, the kit was extremely glitchy and did not work and is not worth five dollars but i i get where they were coming at at the kits but it should be like two dollars maybe and was extremely glitchy so that's also the tea we have so much tea in this video i'm just spreading the tea you know like i i i just don't i'm just spreading it to the nations. <laughs> I I want my sims to suffer. I want laundry in the base game. I want vacuuming in the base game because I want my sims to do the chores. Mom, I'm not doing chores, okay? <laughs> I'm not. Don't be like, well, I can give you chores, more chores at home if you want to do chores so badly, okay? Please don't do that. My mom watches all of my videos. But basically, I want my Sims to suffer, not me, you know? But it's more fun when you to watch your Sims suffer. That's why I 
burn them in a fire, you know? Like, it's way more fun to watch your sim suffer. Last but not least, the final thing I want to see in The Sims 5. I want to see them fix the mistakes that they launched, the mistakes that were made in the launch of The Sims 4. I am assuming that they will not make the same mistakes that they made in The Sims 4 launch. I, but I want to see as few mistakes as possible in The Sims 5 launch. I, I know that there will probably still be mistakes. It's just, it is just bound to happen. Like, I know that this is going to happen and it is just making me cringe already. I just, I know the mistakes that are bound to happen and I, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to see it, you know? The mistakes, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there were no toddlers in the base game when the launch came. There were no pools in the base game when the game launched. There were no terrain tools when the game launched. All of these came in patches way later. Terrain tools came out when Get Famous came out. That was way later. I mean, this took forever for it to come out. I just... I just, I can't see these mistakes happen again. I. I just, I want this game to succeed. I love this game and I just, I don't want to see it happen again, okay? I just, I, I can't see it happen again. Please, Sim Team, this is me begging you. This is me begging you to play test the game and be smart, please. Because this is your final chance. Paralyze is coming out soon. If you don't know what Paralyze is, look it up. It is another simulation game that will be coming out very soon. It very soon is relative, but it's another game in development. I, please, Sims team, I love you. I, you people are incredible. You are so smart and I just, I want you to succeed. So please, please, <laughs> I really, I, please, do not make the same mistakes as your past selves. Like, I just, I, I just really can't, I really can't see it happen again, you know? Like, we can't do this again. We will leave for Paralives, like, right now. I mean, they have curved walls. So, us uh, Sims kids get crazy for curved walls and color reels, you know? Like, we're just like... Curved walls, color wheels, seasons, and dogs in the base game. We're just leaving at that. So on that note, what do you think will be in the base game of The Sims 5? Tell me in the comments down below. I really want to know what you guys think about what my is on my list. You know, like, what do you think about it? What are you thinking about The Sims 5? I really want to know. Tell me in the comments down below. So on that note, I am going to go. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And come back next time for another build video. Bye, everybody.